Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, happy Friday. Today I'm going to be doing stages 27 to 32 of the DLS DV Collectibles release and build the International Space Station. So here is where we're up to at the moment, 26 stages in, a lot to do, mostly metal, this is quite heavy, that's why I'm going to put it down, gently. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the instructions now. I don't know what we're doing, so we're going to figure that out we're together when we do look through these magazines. Now, if you do want to get this for yourself, don't know if it's still available. You will need to check. I have put a link in the video description, and there's also a QR code on the screen, but I'm going to jump straight into it. We've got six stages today, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so stage 27. Here is the magazine with every bit of knowledge about space you could shake a stick at. Looking like that. And basically we're going to be doing uh, these parts now. Once again, they don't actually tell us what these parts are, so I do rely on you folks to let me know in the comments exactly what I'm building today. Uh, but there we go. We've got these parts here. I'm putting these together, actually extending onto what we've created here. So it's looking just like that. It's a bit confusing in this one that we're actually on the stage 27, but in the instructions, it keeps referring to the parts as 21. So uh, I think that might be a little mistake there. Once again, <laughs> I'm not even gonna mention it today. Look, we've got our favorite screws. And it's this side of the space station that we're gonna be working on first. I'm gonna be taking this metal section and it's gonna go in there just like that. It's held in with MS4 screws. Now, magically, that's holding itself in there. I don't know how that's doing that, but I do need two of these. Perfect. Let's put that to one side. And then I'm going to be taking this section. Now, whereas the other part was metal, this is plastic, but we do have to add these details to this. So in the shorter tab that we've got at the top, two tabs, this one's shorter, I'm going to be having this detail. And that's going to go in there just like that. It's held in from the other side with our favourite screw. <laughs> now when we put this in, there is sort of like an indent for these top sections to fit in there. So uh, need to make sure they're in there. Now with the bottom section, we're taking this one and that's going to go in this way, like that. And once again, just one of these R screws. <laughs> okay, once that's into place, we can just bring over the space station again, and this larger section here is just going to be fitting into there just like that. As you can see there. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 28, here's the magazine looking like this. And are we going to be building onto what we just created? We've got this section now, which is going on the other side, actually, of what we've just created there. So this is actually going to be a really quick stage. I think I'm going to bundle this stage with the next one because this is only going to take five seconds. So that was stage 28. Let's do stage 29 as well. Here's the magazine. Looking good. And then we've got this section here, which is going, oh, where's this going? This is going on the middle section of this. So each one of these prongs is going to have something on it. So by the end, it's going to be looking just like that. Let's do these two stages together. So here is stage 28. Once again, these larger sections and modules here are solid metal, which is giving a reason why this thing is so heavy. Now, even though we've got this part here, they don't actually want us to attach this to anything. So I can just keep that to one side, bring over the space station. And just like we started with the last stage, this one is going to go into here like that, held in once again with MS4 screws. And it takes two of these. And there you go. That's all there is to do in that stage. And because we've already seen the magazine for stage 29, I've got stage 29 here. Again, the module section is metal. It's going to be going on this way. It's going to go underneath this section here. So if I just show you in the way it fits in, just like that, 
It's held in with two MS4 screws again, just in the middle here. So one here, and one just at the back here. I can put that to one side and take over these two parts that we now have together. And it's just a case of piecing these together. So make sure they're the right way around. They're gonna go in just like that. Bring Space Station over again. <laughs> and this is gonna be going with the whole section here, just over this end section there. And push that all the way in. So it's actually going in a downward direction. Now I'm holding that in with once again an MS4 screw. Just through the top here. Get that in nice and tight. Perfect. And that's all there is to do in those stages. In stage 30, here is the magazine. I do love this build. I love anything astronomy and space related. It really uh, gets my creative appetite up. <laughs> okay, quite a few little bits in this one. So what we're going to be doing, by the look of it, is putting a lot of details onto this module first, and then we're going to be attaching this module onto the space station, as you can see just there. So here's the parts for stage 30. Once again, they've all got the decals on already, as you can see there, looking pretty good. And the first piece that I want to put in is looking like this. If you look on the top camera, it's going to be going in this way just into the hole there. As a matter of fact, this is a D-shaped module, so it can't really go in any other way. It sits in there like that. It's gonna be held in with one of our favorite screws. So just putting that in from the underside here. Then I've got this part here. This is metal, this part. This is actually gonna be going into this slot behind it, just like that. Once again, this one's going to be held in with the MS4 screws. Seems to be two screws in this one, MS4 or R screws. Now this takes two of these, so let's get these in. There you go, nice and tight. Now we've got some tiny details here, so let's get these in. So the first one looks like this, it's sort of tilted. That one's going to be going into the socket on this side here, and it's just a push in. So as you can see, that's how that fits in like that. And then trying to identify which one you need. It needs to be this one here, sort of bending slightly forward. It's actually going to go into this point just at the back here. But what happens is it was tilting off to the left. So when you put it in, it's actually quite straight in there. So that's going to go in just like that there. And then this one is held in with uh, an R screw. The other one doesn't need a screw at all. It's just held in by friction. So then that looks like that. And then we're just gonna repeat what we've just done there onto the other side. Perfect, so when they're all in, it's looking like that. So bring the space station back over. And this is gonna be going onto this middle panel, just like that here. Perfect, it's held in with MS4 screws. We need four of these, just into the holes, one, two, three, four. And then we just get to hide all these screw holes with these blank pads here. Now they've all got different orientations. So this one's got a slot in it, so I know that one's gonna go here. This one's gonna go this way. It's basically matching shapes up really. Which means this one's gonna go this way. And finally, this one in here. Perfect, and with that all in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 31, here's the magazine. Let's uh, see what we're gonna be doing. I'm guessing we're gonna be adding the tops to the other two sections. We've got this section here, and again, this is just gonna go on top here and then we're putting some blankers in to hide all of those screw holes. So I think I'm gonna do the last two stages together. So that's that one there. And then in stage 32, here's the magazine. Looking like that. And uh, we are actually doing something slightly different on that one. It looks like we're doing a lot of detailed parts here, adding these on, ready 
to attach to another module, I'm guessing. So I'll do the last two stages together. So here's the parts for stage 31. Again, the great big metal module, as you just heard there. Quite simply, this one's just going to be going over this section like that, held in with the MS4 screws. And once again, we do need four of these. And then once again, it's just a case of hiding all of these screws with these blankers. So that's that one done. Now I don't need the space station now, so I can put that to one side. What I do need is stage 32 here. And the first thing I need is this detail looking just like this. Now this is going to be going this way round onto the peg that we've just got there. And it's going to be held in with a R screw. Now the next one I've got looks just like this on top. This is going to be going next to it into the position just there. All of these are going to use the same screw. Then I've got this one looking like that, which is going to go next to it. Then I've got this tilted one here, which is going to be going that way around next to that one there. And finally, the last part to put in looks just like this. That's just going to go into the little recess that we had there. Now, if I just turn this over, so we've got this side, we do have this little, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Someone tell me, is that a hatch or is it a, a, a satellite dish? I don't know. It is located with a D-shaped hole, so it can only go in one way, and I'm just pushing that in there, just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. I do like this build, so that is what we've built onto today, and that is how it's looking at the moment. Pretty cool, huh? That is excellent. Now, once again, if you do want to get this for yourself, you will have to check in the video description or the QR code on the screen. And I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.